Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, as literally always, like, I'm the only person on this channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Backrooms Level The Beginning, which might be the key to understanding more about the crazy world of the Backrooms. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? So the beginning is classified as a class undetermined because of its mysterious properties, unknown info, and undocumented entities. Trust me, this one is just strange. The level itself looks like a huge blank black room with all of its walls and floors and roof and everything being black. The entire room is also empty except for a metal table right in the middle with a chair in it and a lamp above it from the ceiling. Even though you can't see the ceiling, it just floats there. This entire black room is huge, and it goes on for miles and miles and miles, and the borders are just voids, so it's hard to say how truly far it expands out. The metal table is black as well, so it blends in with the rest of the scene, and on top of the metal table is one of the most important and crazy objects in all of the back rooms. Not even kidding, this computer might have some answers to the unsolved questions in the back rooms. The computer itself is old, and it seems to be from the mid to late 90s, but it doesn't matter how it looks old, because of what it can do. The computer has the ability to change and create things inside of the level by simply using commands in the command center, which is pulled up on the screen. The background screen of the PC is black, and the text you type with is green. There are several commands that have been found out so far, but it is known that whatever you type seems to only affect things inside of this level. Not the rest of the backrooms or anything, just this level, which is still cool of course, and it still could answer some questions. An example command you could type in would be slash spawn, then the name of the entity or object in all caps that you want to spawn. So slash spawn underscore smiler would literally make a smiler appear right in front of you. And that's obviously not smart to do, but you could also do slash spawn underscore almond water, and almond water would appear right in front of you. Pretty neat. As of right now, the only things that work for sure with this computer are spawning entities and objects in, as well as teleporting yourself to any level that's been found and documented so far. Which is pretty weird because there's definitely levels that haven't been searched or found yet, but it's almost like this level knows that we haven't discovered all of the backrooms levels, and it won't let you go to those new places using it, which is pretty strange if you ask me. But let's say you wanted to send yourself to a level. You would type slash transport underscore the level number. For instance, slash transport underscore level 999 would send me to level 999. If you type slash delete underscore a level or an entity, then an error message will pop up on the screen and you won't be able to do it. So if you try to delete, let's say, level zero, slash delete, level zero, nothing would happen, and you would get an error screen. And this means that the computer doesn't have power over the entire back rooms. But it kind of does in a way, because it has a connection to all of the levels, since it can send you to any one of them. And since it can send you to any one of them, it would mean it's connected to them in some way. Personally, I think this level is a big easter egg for the entirety of the backrooms. Let me explain. In one of my backrooms theories videos I made, I read one of the theories that said that the backrooms as a whole is some sort of game or controlled experiment or simulation, and that there's a powerful being that controls it all. And I think that this level, having the ability to edit and change things about itself by just typing in codes, means that other levels and entities can be changed or edited using codes as well. Maybe this means that the backrooms is a simulation and is controlled by a simulation master. Maybe it's some kind of experiment where there's smart people controlling it all and we're just the rats inside of the maze. Either way, this level having as much power as it does leaves lots of questions unanswered. Like where do the entities come from that you can spawn in? Do they get teleported from other levels or do they just simply appear out of thin air. And how does the computer know exactly where other levels are? Is it wired into them somehow? Or does each level have a specific line of code that it can send you to? As I said, there's lots 
lots of questions and not a lot of answers. But one thing it does answer is that entities and objects can be spawned in using lines of code. Even though you can only do it in this one level right now, theoretically it would mean that you could do it in every level. All I know is that I would just type in slash transport level 48 and just chill on the beach forever. But that's what I would do. To enter this level, uh, it says the entry point to the beginning is kept a secret and anyone found talking loudly about it will be unalived by entities or mercenaries. <laughs> Uh, don't go here. And to exit, you can type slash transport to go to any level. Let me know down in the comments what level you would send yourself to, or what entities you would spawn in. Pretty interested to see what you all say. That is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This level is pretty nuts, and it really gets me thinking about the possibilities of what the backrooms is as a whole. In fact, I just watched the new Kate Pixels video where a room in level zero seemed to be deleted in a way, kind of like a simulation collapsing. And this level kind of leads credence and kind of makes that seem real. If you want to see my reaction to that video from Kane Pixels, go check out Toogly. I uploaded a reaction. It's banging out. Y'all are loving it. The first link will be in the description for that. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching until the end, and thank you for supporting me. The channel is getting dangerously close to 500,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me get there, drop a sub. Because when I hit 500k, I am buying the full Backrooms outfit. Pants, shirt, hat, socks, all of it. And I'm gonna have tons of videos in it, like a photo shoot, reaction videos, Brugly videos. Literally, I'm just gonna be wearing this thing all the time. It's gonna be crazy. Also, make sure to check out Toogly, like I said, and also Spoogly. Because if you like my content on here, you'll definitely like the content over there. Because I'm uploading SCP readings, Trevor Henderson creatures, real life alien encrypted encounters. It's gonna be awesome over there. Tons of stuff's already up. Go check it out. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I upload multiple times a week on those channels as well. So if you want just more and more content from me, go check them out. Also, when Toogly hits 50,000 subscribers, I will be doing a Q&A live stream on the channel. It'll probably be sometime in November or December. So whenever that channel gets 50K, I'll be doing this big live stream event. I'm gonna announce that across all my channels, this channel, all my stuff. You guys can come in and ask questions. I'll be playing some Minecraft, some Rec Room, some VR chat. It's gonna be a fun time. Hope you're ready for that. Yeah, mark your calendars because it's going to happen. If you want to see that happen faster, drop a sub over there. Thank you all so much for everything you do for me. I really appreciate it all. I know I say it at the end of every video, but thank you all so much for allowing me to do this. Allow me to make these videos for you all. I really just I love doing it. And it's such a blessing that you all love watching it and just keep coming back for more. I really appreciate it. Let me know what levels you want me to go over down below. Let me know what stuff you want me to do on here. What le let me know what levels you want me to do, what objects you want me to do, what entities you want me to do, that kind of stuff. I hope you're looking forward for. Bro I hope you're looking forward to Brugmas as well. Everything at the end of the year is just gonna be so good, and I'm so excited for y'all to see it. Thank you all for everything. I love you all. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.